Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. I'm back in Rio Vista with one of my favorite new friends, Carol Rudy, right over there, the maker of all the blankets and not just blankets, but beautiful pillows like this. She has little bags that she made like this. She just told me the bags are waterproof. And you know, it's been really popular. Actually, people have been emailing in and for whatever reason, these large bibs, you know, for people maybe who have autistic uh, children. I know I received some emails asking, hey, can you get me some of those bibs? So we've tried our best to do that. But yeah, she makes these really big bibs and I guess they're hard to get, but let me know and I will deliver some more because that's why we're in Rio Vista. Again, Carol, come over in the sun so we can see you a little bit. Okay. She's wonderful. She had it all set up and then the Rio Vista wind came up and just kind of blew everything over. So she ran in, got some soup cans. But <laughs> anyways, again, Carol, thank you so much. And why are you doing this? Well, after being laid off, I needed a purpose. I, I just couldn't sit home. And I found by watching Good Day that other people were having a similar situation. And Good Day allowed people to use their creativity and being purposeful to make things happen. Yeah. And it was like I told you, there's that book called The Stone Soup for Children that people started contributing because they wanted to feel like they belonged or they matter. Yeah. And right now I'm warm. I mean, no, I don't have a job, but I'll be okay. And um, It's so great. So you, you've had an opportunity to see us delivering some of this oh, to it's some awesome. of the people. What, what, what are your thoughts on when you see the reaction of your stuff going to somebody who really needs it? I don't think there's words. The joy is uh, priceless. I, I mean, I'm just in shock because, you know, I just so from my heart. It's a gift that God gave me and, and I wanted to use all the fabric I had. Yeah. And if I, I have enough for about 10 more blankets, but if anybody wants more, I'm gonna need fleece and more fabric. Yeah. But otherwise it's, I want people to know that we all care. Yeah. You know, being sequestered in your home, you don't get the interaction or the warmth and caring you need. Yeah, and, and a couple people have reached out to me, so I will be picking up some fabric that people are donating because they've seen what Carol's doing. So I'll pick fabric up, come back out here to Rio Vista, and then uh, Carol will utilize that. Okay, so we're going to load up Rover here shortly. She already has a, just a bunch more bags, but, but what else do you have? You have, uh, you have? You have the bibs, large and small bibs. Uh, blankets, large blankets, small blankets, pillows. She has bags. If you just need just a generic uh, bag, uh, if you have a need for that, um, she has that as well as uh, glasses uh, covers that she made out of pot holders. So um, if you are in need, if you need something, uh, please email us at goodday at kmaxtv.com and let us know that, hey, I could really use that. And also include your phone number. It just makes it a lot easier to get a hold of you. A lot of people have emailed, but they don't put their phone number on there. So make sure to include your number. Yeah, these are the burp bags and the eyeglass holders. Okay, so we'll throw that in with some of the blankets. That and sounds we'll start good. loading up Rover. So, okay. All right, thanks so much, Carol. We appreciate you it's so much. It's a pleasure. Much. Thank you very yeah. much. Carol. Today. Okay, back over to you guys. The nicest lady ever. That was great. That is great. Let's all be more like Carol this upcoming year. Well, my 